Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 11 today, verses 47 to 51. We're looking at the second of the woes on the lawyers, and here's what Jesus says. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. In fact, you bear witness that you approve the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore, the wisdom of God also said, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they will kill and persecute that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the temple. Yes, I say to you, it shall be required of this generation. So the second of the three woes Jesus has on the lawyers here is they're sustaining these aged institutions. And it's not that all things that are old or ancient are, are wrong. Of course, there are things that are true. But many times... Here we have a case where the the earlier people, the officials in the government and in the world, they they persecuted God's own service. They persecuted his prophets and killed them, murdered them, murdered them for doing what God told them to do. And there is a condemnation for them for that. And so that's what you have here is Jesus is saying to the, the lawyers, you are sustaining these the, the behavior of your, your ancestors. And is whenever you sustain that, you are creating trouble in the world. You're, people who are looking to authority, they're looking and they're saying, well, look, this, this, this is what has been happening for all this time. It's sustained by the people today. It must be the right thing. And when people see that, they become spiritually confused because they're caught between the commandments of God and the commandments of men. And the commandments of men seem kind of like a lot more immediate. Hey, you know, if I don't do this, I'm in trouble right now. I might get thrown out of the synagogue, that kind of stuff. So Jesus, woe to the lawyers here is you're sustaining the, the continuous corruption from ages past. When you make the tombs of the prophets and decorate them, but, you're, but, you, but your ancestors killed them. But you guys are kind of commemorating all this. There needs to be a strong break between the evil ethic and the true good ethic. And murder is an evil ethic. And when you murder God's servants, we need to make a, a total break there. Jesus is condemning that continuing practice. You know what? If they just keep it up, they're going to wind up killing some more prophets. And in fact, they may kill and murder even the Son of God. And we know that's imminent, don't we? So let's pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, Jesus had another word, another woe for the lawyers, and it's a grim one. And it reminds us to be careful of what we lend our own moral support to. We may be supporting evils from long ago in sort of an indirect way, an unthoughtful, a superficial sense. Help us, Lord, to get a grip on what's, what's right and what's wrong and apply it closely in our own time so that we connect ourselves with the things that are right and we deny we turn away from those things that are wrong. We thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, may the Lord bless us and keep us from being there to fulfill that, that woe to the lawyers. God bless you today.